Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about the C sharp explicit and implicit cast operators. So let's get started. If you want to uh, get some more details, you can search on Microsoft website for C sharp explicit operator, but I would explain it to you in simple terms here as well. So let's say we have a class animal and it has a property name and uh, whether that animal is a mammal or not. And we have uh, another class called dog and it basically has just a name. So uh, what we want to do here is basically uh, have an object which is declared and we say we get a new dog and the name is Bruno. On the console.write line, I'm typing in object.get type.fullname. So you could see the printout is going to be program plus dog because that's the full type because it's in the class program, this whole thing. And the name, uh, and when we dump the object, you'll see the property that get dumped is name is Bruno. So let's say instead of var object is equal to new dog, we want to say animal object is equal to this. So it says uh, it, and it cannot find, uh, you'll see cannot implicitly convert type program dot dog to program animal. So it cannot convert dog to animal. Let's say you wanted to provide an operator to do this conversion. So you can use uh, what is called uh, Let's just tidy this up to see what this is. So what you want to do is define uh, uh, a static method. Uh, this is going to be an implicit cast, so we call it implicit. And we uh, have the keyword operator. So these three are all keywords, static, implicit, and operator. And is essentially going to return uh, an animal, and it takes it as an input a dog. So what we can do, uh, for this cast is pretty straightforward. I'm declaring a new animal and in that new animal I am setting the property name to be dog.name and I'm also saying that the mammal is true and I'm also printing it here so you can see this uh, method or operator method gets called. It says operator invoked and it returns animal which is this thing. So if you run this thing again here like this see you can see it did a cast and it's not complaining. So object is now of the type animal. So you can see it is saying program plus animal. And the mammal is true uh, because that's what we are setting it for. So th in this way, you can actually provide a way to cast objects from one, one to another. And here you can see this uh, casting was implicit. Suppose you didn't want to do an implicit, you can use another keyword called explicit. and I'm typing it in. So it says explicit is accepted, but now you can see here there is a problem because it says you cannot explicitly, cannot convert dog into animal like that. So you need a cast here. So what you can do is you can cast it like this animal and now this problem will go away. So this can be useful if you want uh, in your programs to uh, people to explicitly do a cast or implicitly do a cast. But the result in this case is going to be the same in any case. So you can see here it works. So this is actually a good uh, thing to have in your toolbox and it can be pretty useful. Uh, and as you can see, the MSDN has uh, an example where they're converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can look at this on your own. And I'm going to put this uh, video on my uh, website as C sharp explicit implicit operator. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.